On this episode of Quantum Fly, we're going to be talking instrument rating. And like most Cirrus pilots, they buy Cirrus to eventually learn to fly IFR. And uh, that guy Mike right there pulling his plane out, he's uh, agreed to not only let me fly with him and train in his SR22 Turbo Alley Edition, early G2. Um, SR22, it also has the TKS. But uh, in return for that, I get to uh, fly with him and keep his uh, currency uh, going. So, what a great machine. I think I want to buy one after flying in this thing. Boy, it just climbs like crazy with that turbo on it. So, this week uh, on Quantum Fly, we're going to be talking instrument training. So, sit back and enjoy. So the point is, you want to file to a, to a point where you at least have a fix to begin with as you do your approach. approach right. yeah. So what's happening is a lot of owners, they're, they're filing to the airport and then they're receiving their, their approach cards. And let's say you're inside of your, your initial approach fix and the airplane will try to turn you back out and around. And accidents are happening or a lot of mishaps are happening. Um, not necessarily deadly. But the airplane's doing something that you don't want it to do. It's turning around and trying to go find the very beginning of the approach. So a lot of people are filing to the fix, then to the airport, and then they're dropping the approach in. Okay, so that way um, the airplane doesn't double back on them. Yeah. Uh, another, another thing they're doing is they're not even putting the airport in, their destination airport. They're just going to that fix, and then you're able to, to, to just drop in your approach. I mean, they're going to want to put me on the... On on the, uh, the fairway here, somewhere over here, I would think. And it will be, oh, yeah. it'll, it'll be waypoints. It'll probably be, they're probably gonna, they're gonna take me off here. They're gonna give me uh, oh, like a one, uh, like a one, 20 something turnout. And then they'll put me, they'll say go direct sample. So as there. luck would have it, it was kind of a crappy day. And you want crappy days when you're going IFR because you want to be able to practice in the clouds. But if you've never flown an SR-22, just watch this thing jump off the runway. It, there's a huge difference between the 20 and the 22. Uh, I noticed that right off the bat. I think the climb rate on the 20 is about 600 feet per minute, and this one is about 1,400 feet per minute. Actually, more than double. And you can feel it when this takes off. So, really cool. Uh, views on the climb out and uh, we're heading to uh, Fort Pierce today to practice some instrument approaches.
It's huge. Big ol' sucker. Mm -hmm.